Hello, and welcome to Adjective New Music's video series on the new bassoon font. Today, we're going to be looking at how to use the new bassoon font in a notation software program, specifically Finale. So, we're going to launch our Finale application. And we'll choose Default Document. And we'll set this up with a bass clef since we're dealing with the bassoon. And for our purposes, let's say we're teaching our students about new fingerings. Maybe we're quizzing them on different types of fingerings. And we want to include a blank fingering chart above each of the notes so that they can fill each fingering in to the score, the corresponding pitch. So, in order to get our new bassoon font in, we're going to click on our Smart Shape tool go down to custom line smart shape options making sure custom line is selected select I always find it easiest to duplicate one of the already present lines edit our duplicate we're going to create a blank line and down here, center position, we're going to write our text. Changing our font to New Bassoon. And changing our size as well. Something a little more legible. Let's say 36. And so then we enter our blank fingering chart. There we have it. Select OK. OK again. Select and OK. And now that should be loaded in our custom line tool. And you see as we draw in our fingering chart. Position that above the staff and we're ready to enter those blank charts, continuing to do so above each measure if we want. That's a simple way of getting the fingering font to show up in a program like Finale. You can also create separate lines for each side of the bassoon font if you're unhappy with the spacing that you get by default. Thank you for watching.